As a Mac user, there are a few programs that are cool enough to make me want to do Windows, but one of them is Adorable U. In a nutshell, Adorable U is easy-to-use software that lets you combine digital photos and embroidery in a few simple steps. And who these days doesn't have a ton of digital photos? And what are you doing with them? In fact, since you can print simulated embroidery, you don't even need an embroidery machine to use it. So Adorable U lets you design appliques and add lettering without ever having to digitize a stitch. It also creates the applique templates for you. Unlike any other program, these templates can be photographs that are printed on either printable fabric or on iron-on transfer sheets. With the simulated embroidery feature, you can have the look of stitches without ever sewing a one. I've used this feature to make greeting cards and iron-on transfers. Plus, I do a lot of embroidery with it, too. And it's fast, fun, and easy. So why don't I just show you how it works? So here we are in Adorable U. This is the Pro version. It says Professional up here. And you'll notice that we have the Direct-to-Garment printer. And we have some special tools like this Create Cropped Photo. Otherwise, they look pretty much the same. This version does have more designs in it and has more fonts. But other than that, they look very close to the same. So I'll start out by selecting a hoop. And what that will do is make sure that I can fit it in my machine. So we'll just choose a 100 by 100. Click OK. And now I want to choose a shape. So we'll go to our shapes and we'll scroll down here. These are the first three packs and they come with the regular. You notice that we have all these other packs. We have numbers, we have shapes, we have shields. We have all kinds of cool stuff. And these are the extras that come with the Pro version. I'll slide down here and just pick a flower. And we're looking for a flower too. So just double click it and there it is. Comes in as gray. We can change the color, no big deal. Now I'm going to go to Photo and I'm going to bring in this piece of fabric that I scanned. Now this is just a piece of fabric from my stash. Normally I would just treat it like an applique, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to let Adorable You print it. I'm going to go back to the frames and I'm going to pick another frame from that same group and we're just going to pick a circle so that we can create a center for the flower. You can stack appliques and just have all kinds of fun. So let's make that smaller. Move it into position. Click Photo. And this time I'll choose a picture of my granddaughter. Now this has been pre-cropped into a circle for another project, but we can use it anyway. And I'm going to scale that to fit. It needs to be a little bit bigger. And maybe I want to get a little bit different orientation. Now notice that the images are bright inside the applique, but kind of faded out outside. All this faded out stuff will be cropped away. So there's my design. And if I'm ready to send it to my sewing machine, I would export it. And I would also print the appliques. So we'll go to print. I want to print on printable fabric. And I don't want simulated embroidery. I want to do actual embroidery. I'm going to leave this set at normal. Normally, you would do a, a higher resolution but it's faster if we just do normal and you can see what it works, looks like. So there's my design and you can see I didn't get my fabric stretched out far enough there and so I have little white edges. So let's go back, I hit stop and I'll click on that background that fabric and the green squares are the fabric. The black squares are the, the design. So I'll just move it into place. We'll go back to print and you can see it's combined both of those images. So now I only have one applicator place. I have two designs that I'm technically sewing, but it's all going to sew as one piece. So that's really cool. Normally I would do a bunch of them and combine them on these printer sheets because these printer sheets are a little expensive. Now suppose that I wanted to do printed simulated embroidery rather than this. I would probably want to color my embroidery. So let's pick colors and I'll just double click on that. I have all my different thread libraries. I use Hemingworth, so I'll pick Hemingworth and I'll type 1266 for this purple that I happen to like. And OK. And now that background is purple. So if I click on this one, I can change its color as well. 
and we'll go back to Hemingworth. And this time I'll type in 1214. Click OK. And there we have that. Now let's choose a bigger hoop. Since I'm going to print this as simulated embroidery, I'm not worried that it has to fit my little tiny hoop. So we'll pick a bigger area. Click OK. And now I want to add some lettering. And maybe I want to do that with a banner. So we'll add another shape. And let, let's try this one. And notice that it pretty much filled the hoop. We can make it smaller. And although my granddaughter is adorable, let's give her a name. And we'll just, we'll just say Flower Power. How about that? Flower Power. And I can check from all of these different fonts. So in this version, I have over 100 fonts. Let's just leave it for this for simplicity set, sake. Set text. Notice how it just flows in there. I don't have to reshape it or anything. It just stays right in there. And I would probably want to pick a different color just like we did before. Let's go back to print. This time we'll do transfer paper and we'll do printed simulated embroidery. And you would want to choose a different resolution. There it is. This is what you would do. You just print it out, cut it out, and then iron it on your garment. And it looks amazingly like embroidery and it's so fast. This is just a quick overview. There are so many creative possibilities with this software. It, and it's easy to use. You can see that it has a simple interface. And I, I hope you think about it. So here's the dress I made with the flower applique I just showed you. The leaves are footballs out of that same shape group that I got the flower and the circle. I just printed the applique outlines on paper and used them as templates for regular fabric. I also brought the leaves into my digitizing software and added some veins. And I don't know if you can see them, but they're just simple little running stitches in there. And this little ladybug is a button. I made the dress, but you don't have to make your own garments. You can put this on anything. So let's review the features. You can create unique custom designs without ever digitizing. You've got all those shapes, shields, and banners. You can instantly crop the image to the appliques. You can rotate a mirror image as and mirror the designs and you can resize them. You can insert existing embroidery designs. The fonts are easy and fast to use. You can add lettering to new or existing designs. You can print the simulated embroidery designs and you can export in all the common machine formats that you're likely to have. So where would you use them? Greeting cards, postcards, family reunions, class reunions. You could have the before and after picture on the class reunions. Kids sporting events. You can take a picture of the, of the kid at the sporting event, put it on a t-shirt. You can commemorate vacation and, and special events. Maybe um, it's a special vacation or the big catch or a scuba diving event. You can go to dog shows and cat shows and get pictures and put them on items. It's just it's just endless. So pro versus regular. Pro is more. More fonts, more shapes, a little more money, but a lot more features. It's a bigger bang for your buck. Here you can compare them and see how they work. You may not have a direct-to-garment printer, but because you can create that sort of file, you could take it to someone who has such a printer and get your items done if the need arises. So these are the suggested retail prices. We do occasionally run specials on our website, so be sure to check it out, lindygembroidery.com, and read the blog post for more ideas.